Hey everybody, it's Brandy Janae. Welcome to my channel if you are new. Welcome back if you're returning. Today is day 20 of the 25 days of December and I'm going to be setting up my faith planner. So if you're interested in seeing this setup, please be sure to stay tuned. Okay, so if you are new here, I am using the Kelleville Plan Faith Planner and I have really been loving it so far. For this video, I'm going to be using the Hello Winter sticker book from Live Love Posh. And then I also pulled some washi from Simply Gilded because I have so much washi and I never, ever, ever use it. So, um, oh, and I decided to go ahead and just use this sticker sheet. So I went ahead and pulled it out for the sake of time. I just realized that I forgot to pull numbers. So I will be doing that later. Uh, well, no, let me see. Is this sticker book? Never mind. The book's handy. Okay. So numbers, this is the Kel or Faith Basics by Kel of a Plan. There are numbers in the back. And I think, I think I want to go with some green numbers. I don't feel like, or even this like mossy color, black, I don't know what color this is, but let's go with this one. So this would be the 18th. I hope that everyone is doing well. I am so excited because this week is our last week of school before winter break. So I am definitely for looking forward to just cranking out these three days <laughs> so that I can go. I'm, let me take these pages out. One moment, please. I do this every week. You would think I had never planned a day in my life before. Okay, my bad. Hopefully you guys, hopefully I'm still in frame. Let me check. All right, looks good. Okay, so, but yeah, anyway, I'm looking forward to like just cranking out these three days so that I can enjoy a much needed time away from work. I do not have any like travel plans or anything this time so it will literally just be I think honestly I think what I'm going to do for me is just take this two weeks to just kind of like reset my habits and routines just because I feel like lately I've just been kind of all over the place especially in the morning just like all over the place can't get it together so i'm gonna take this opportunity to go ahead and just reset <laughs> get everything prepped and ready for january as far as like you know my i'm i'm flipping pages sorry as far as my um planners and everything is concerned working on new listings for my shop because even though I keep saying I'm going to do that I have yet to actually do it <laughs> so all of those things is what I plan on doing over the break all right so we're gonna put one of those there. Oops. I would like to. I think I want some across the top. But yeah, I'm like, I have one of those clear, like acrylic drawers of washi. And I literally. 
don't use it. Like, I don't, I just, I just don't. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, either use the washi or let it go. Like, that's it. Okay, I can't get this to lay down. So we're gonna just forego that end. But yeah, it's like either use the washi or or just let it go. Because at this point, now you're just hoarding it for no reason at all. So I am going to attempt to start using my washi more. We shall see. I did at least stop buying washi. So that was responsible. So I don't buy it anymore. So now basically what I have is just what I have, which is good because again, why keep buying something that you're not really using? All right. I like I think I just like this top border. I may get rid of. That bottom one. These scissors are so fancy. They're from Hubman and Chub Girl and they were in the advent box, but I don't remember which day. So if you missed it, you have to go back and watch all of them. Because <laughs> I don't remember which day it was. Yeah, I don't think I like this one here. So, we'll just kind of, we'll just put it across the top. That'll be good. Okay. Woo. Step one, add the washi. Step two, I really want this piece here, but I do know I am going to have to cut it. Ah, uh, you know what? Mm -mm. Because what I also know about this is that it is, once it's down, it is down. So before I remove it off this backing, <laughs> Let's go ahead and cut it where it needs to be cut. Let me grab my um, slice tool. Okay, yeah, that, mm -mm, that was almost a tragedy. Okay, so I know it needs to go, mm, which end do I want? I don't know, it's something about these oranges. I just really, I was just really feeling the oranges. Okay, so basically we need to cut it here. So I am going to take this, hope that it's straight and cut. All right, there we go. So I'm like, uh-uh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna flip this back over. I am gonna overlap the washi just a bit. And we will just folder and go across the page. Ah, beautiful. No incidents. <laughs> no stickers were harmed. 
in making the top of that. And I love it. If you've been here, then you know I do tend to keep the Faith Planner very florally. I'm not sure why. I just, it just feels like a floral planner situation for me. So I'm keeping it floral. Um, we can use the rest of this one. Just pop that over there. It's a little crooked, but you know, whatever. I like this. Oh, I got a sticker. I need to hurry up because I'm actually supposed to be on my way to work right now. <laughs> but I really wanted to get this done. Okay. Put that piece in there. I love... Come on. Love how this orange kind of chilling. Large hmm. here. I think I kind of want to like line the edges on. Yes. Love that. And then I will finish this side off with these oranges. Love that. Let's trim this little piece off here. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Okay, and so then we're gonna kind of do the same thing on this side. Just cut the floral in half. Um, I wonder if I can get this up. All right, so let's take you. I am okay with the overlap, although this might be a little bit too much overlap. So let's cut that. Just a bit. Yeah, I'm okay with that part. Okay. So then we want to put some more orange. Through there. And then I'm like two flowers left. I feel like I have, I have to use them. And overlap some more pink in there. I'm 
I am struggling with these stickers today. There we go. Mm. Get rid of the stem. Add a little pink to there. All right, and then we have one more. Hmm, where should you go? Because you are definitely going on this page. Mm. I love it. <laughs> nope, I don't love it. Oh, rip the page a little bit. Let's just let's just stay here. Just you know, why not give Sunday a little extra razzle dazzle? Okay, that's it. We're done. It was mostly, oh, I have a random stem. Mm. I don't need it. Okay. That was mostly painless. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to pop this back in my planner. And I love it. I think it's beautiful. I don't know what it is about those oranges, but I just really enjoy them. I'm feeling like the washi tape was not necessary, but you know, got to use it. I might add some more in later just so it's not so like randomly placed at the top. But for right now, this is where we are and I'm okay with that. So for day 20 from the Hubman and Chub Girl Advent, we have more stickers. And these are cute. They're the Merry Gift tags, which I don't actually need these for these, this year, but I will definitely save them for next year. Because I am pretty much done with gifts <laughs> for this year already. Oh, I can't get them out of here. Come on. I don't know why. Oh. There we go, forget it. All right, so we have this page. These are really cute. And then, oh, there's more than two. Okay, so then this page, and then this page. So you get three sheets of the Mary gift tags. They have a really pretty like gold foiling to them. I'm not sure if it's picking up, but these are their like vinyl-ish stickers. So um, you can use a Sharpie. I believe the ballpoint pens also work on their stickers, but not, um, I, I'm pretty sure the gel pens smear, but I love the cool, like the clear back. I just think that's so cool. So anyway, yeah, three sheets of the gift tags, super, super cute. Um, definitely stay on the lookout for next year. I assume they'll do another one. But I'm very pleased with this one that I've gotten so far. Again, the only thing about it is that I wish it wasn't like Christmas themed because <clears throat> once the season is over, I'm like, eh, then what I'm going to do with it. So, or like now it's day 20 and I've already wrapped all my gifts. So I don't really need any gift tags right now. So that's the only thing I would say. If anyone from Hubman and Chubb Girl is watching, maybe just do a general box <laughs> and then that way you can use the items all throughout the year or release it earlier so that you have it for Christmas. So that's the only thing. Whenever shops do Advent boxes, it's nice for us if it's not a seasonal thing just because, like I said, once Christmas is over, I don't, I'm not going to use Christmas gift tags on a birthday present. Like I'm just, I'm just not. Some people may, <laughs> I don't know, but I wouldn't. So some of them I feel like can be just kind of winter-ish. Um, but like this one specifically says Dear Santa. So obviously that's, you know, and these are like, I mean, winter treats technically. So 
but even the colors are like red and green so it really just kind of screams christmas to me and you have like the holly and the candy canes and you know so i don't know but that's just a note for anyone that's planning on doing an advent box and my opinion is worth whatever my opinion is worth to you <laughs> but i have heard other people mention it when they're doing their unboxings it's nice to have a non-season specific box so that you know you can use the items anytime because now i'm gonna have to try to store these things and then remember where i put them so that i can use them for next christmas so anyway that is it for this plan with me i hope that you enjoyed it um we have five days to go that's it only five more days ah! um and then i haven't decided if i'm gonna take like a little break <laughs> just because i have done 25 straight videos i'm not sure yet so we'll see but i have really enjoyed this time with you all and meeting new people in the comments and you know just all of the things i've really really enjoyed it so thank you for being here if you have any questions or anything like that always leave them in the comments and be sure to check the description box because i have been adding more things to the description box especially like you know some of my favorite planner things that i've purchased on amazon that i think that some of you would really enjoy or that some of you have asked me about so be safe be kind or be quiet be well please do not forget to be patient in this season and i'll catch you in the next one